we first started the, the blood drive or our focus on the blood drive, uh, we were getting 15 or 20 donations each time the blood mobile visited our institution. Uh, through competition with Swanee CI and inner competition, we've, we've progressed to where we've got 156 donations. We took suggestions from staff about what we could do as a leadership team that would encourage them to give. Uh, and so a suggestion was made that we jump into a retention pond on grounds. very dirty, it was very cold, once we uh, bested 20 CI in the competition, they decided, they, they uh, stepped up and, and beat us numbers wise uh, with donations and, uh, and they jumped in the ponds. It's very entertaining watching Warden Landrum and Warden Barnes uh, compete against each other. They're both really great men and great leaders and they have great hearts and they, uh, they love their communities and they love their staff and watching them go at each other sometimes, it's all worth it. We had to come up with something new. We took some suggestions again from staff and uh, uh, it was suggested that we may work a shift for them. Although 12 hours is a long time and, uh, and we respect what they do for a living uh, and uh, you know we, we felt that was a good way to, to reward them and, and show our commitment to, uh, to doing their job and thank them for, for their commitment to giving blood. For Warden Barnes to step up and take his role as a correctional officer for a day and don a correctional officer uniform and go and work 12 hour shift is truly amazing and shows his character as a leader. Uh, and, uh, and that's exactly what we did this time. And I, I will promise y'all that we, uh, we did not intend to, to win this time. That was, that was not our focus. Our focus was to keep, uh, keep the competition going to the point that we could uh, show our commitment to the community that we would make a donation of over 100 uh, every time that the blood mobile came so that we didn't backslide back to the days when we had 20 or, or 30 donations so that we showed our commitment. And I think the greatest thing for, for us is we counted on our staff stepping up. They always do anything you ask them to do uh, that's community related or, or doing good for people. The staff here always uh, you know, go above and beyond. But the biggest thing for us is get buy-in from all our department heads and our, our different departments and, uh, and encouraging them to go back and talk to their staff about what we're doing and how it benefits the community. And, uh, and I think we've, uh, we've accomplished that at Columbia CI. Thank you.